not as afraid as they probably should be. Some of you might know that if you have them in your area. Um, so there are red foxes living in North Carolina, but there are also gray foxes. Um, one of the things uh, we like to tell people on the tour is that they're not as different as you might think. A lot of people think, well, a gray fox is gray, a red fox is red, and that's just how they're looking. That's what you can tell. Um, actually, gray foxes can be really red in their coat, and red foxes can have silver phase, which is really gray fox. And so um, the easiest way to tell is actually if you look at the very tip of their tail. So you guys see the very tip of Soxy's tail? White. See what color? Yes, yeah, white. Exactly. So that's the color that a red fox tail is always going to be at the very, very end. It's going to have a white tip. And a gray fox oh, she's is always going to have a black tip at the end of their tail. So that's how you can tell. Um, even if they look like they might be the same color. Um, Soxy took his piece of beef and what did he do? Did he eat his beef? He's burying it. Like no, he's burying it and he's stashing it for later. That's a typical fox thing. And it makes our keeper's job super fun. Because we get to go in and dig out all that meat before it gets stinky. And sometimes the foxes win and it gets stinky and sometimes we 